All right, everybody, listen. I've been holding this in for so long. But several months ago, back in September, I was in this rehabilitation center called Cold Forge. And I was there because I was running from God. God kept telling me that he has a mission for me, a purpose for me, and I just kept running from him, wondering when the cycle would ever stop. Well, I get to this place called Cold Forge, and after about a week of being there, I'm in a group, and uh, this particular group is an AA meeting, and people are around me talking. There's 300 people in this room, and I'm sitting in the back of the room. Next thing I know, my eyes are open, and everything goes dark, right? God gave me a vision of what's to come. Everything went dark, and all I could see at the end of this light was kind of like when you see a cartoon and the train's coming through and you see a light at the end of the tunnel, that's exactly what it looked like. And that light just kept getting smaller and smaller. And God said really loud, I heard him out loud. He said, the door is closing. And then everything went back to normal, right? And it kind of freaked me out a little bit because that's the first open vision I've had in a long time, right? Well, that night when I went to sleep, God proceeded to give me a dream, a dream of the rapture, and it is coming, okay? In this dream of the rapture, I was at a Bible study with a, a, a Christian family of my, a friend of mine, and we were in there doing a Bible study, and all of a sudden, we hear this loud trumpet, and we run outside, it's dark outside, and all we can see is these angels filled with light, grabbing people from the earth and taking them straight to heaven, straight up, Okay? And when this happened, I looked around at the people that were next to me and I said, guys, we missed the rapture. We have to warn everyone and everyone that was in that room, their minds turned reprobate. They no longer knew the things of God. And it was like God was showing me that nine out of 10 people during this time will turn reprobate and will not have redemption. But the ones that did not turn reprobate have a chance of being converted in the last days during the tribulation and still have a chance to make it to heaven. But I'm telling you the things that I saw, it was not good, not good whatsoever. Once in this dream, when this was happening and those people that I was around turned reprobate, I started to run and I'm running down this road. These people are running past me. They're not chasing me, um, but they're running really fast behind me and they're passing me. And as they pass me, their bodies started dropping dead in the streets, just out of nowhere, just completely dropped. They didn't get shot. I can't explain to you what happened to their body, but they just dropped and they just laid there, right? And there's cars blowing up. There's buildings blowing up. All these things going on. People are fighting, you know, chopping each other with machetes and all kinds of crazy, ridiculous stuff. It is really the end. When I woke up that morning, I went and told just about everybody in, in that rehab, like, yo, this is really happening. It's getting closer and closer. God is warning us. We need to repent now. We don't have a lot of time at all. If the door is closing, please repent for your sins and make it home to heaven. Do not get left behind during the rapture. Please listen. And I know that most of you won't. But for the ones that do, get ready. The time is now. I love you all.